Godzilla. <clears throat> Godzilla versus Mega Godzilla 2. That's today's episode of William Jackson's Monster Fest, episode 20. Yes, this is the, 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 the this is the 20th installment of of the Godzilla series in the 20th episode. You're scratching your head, you're thinking like, wait, what the fuck? How is this Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla 2? Mechagodzilla already appeared in two films, which was Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla 1974 and Terror of Mechagodzilla 1975. Well, it should have been called Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla 3, even though it has no connections to the first two Mechagodzilla movies. What did I think of Terra Mechagodzilla? Mm -hmm. It was a good movie. Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla 2. I liked it, and it introduced us to Godzilla Jr. Well, he wasn't Godzilla Jr. yet. His name was, I believe, Little One in this movie. Yeah, or Little Godzilla. Or Baby. Yeah, the woman called him Baby. The movie is a good movie. And just remember this. It's it's a good movie. Fun for everybody to enjoy. Especially if you like giant monsters. Now in this movie, they find an egg on an island. That Rodan... Okay, it was a nest, okay? And Rodan hatched... From that other egg. And you're like, how the fuck did Rodan get that fucking big? What the fuck? And you're scratching your head like this. And you're like, how the hell did that become Rodan? And then Godzilla shows up. <coughs> and starts fighting Rodan and fucking strangles him. Literally strangles him. And basically Godzilla Jr. is basically, you know, well, baby Godzilla. The egg is taken back to, I guess, um, like a facility. And they study it and everything. And it ends up hatching and they're like, that's no Pteranodon. That's a Godzilla Saurus. Or that's a baby Godzilla. And then... It, it let out a scream like, ah, like that. And then Godzilla just shows up, attacks Tokyo. But you got to understand, in this movie, Godzilla's not really a bad guy in this movie. He's pissed off because they took his egg. I mean, see, and people are always wondering, oh, but Godzilla had attacked Tokyo for no reason. Oh, he had a reason in this movie. I mean, they took his egg. And then, you know, the baby, which only goes up to, like, Godzilla's foot like this. Yeah, got that. say that's the baby compared to Godzilla's foot. And, yeah. Yeah. And then what happens? Well, they bring Mechagodzilla, which they use the robotic head of the Mecha King Ghidra from two movies ago to bring this to life. And yeah, we end up getting Mechagodzilla. Huh. Well, that's weird, isn't it? And suspicious. Mm -hmm. Sorry. But other than that, the movie is a good movie, fun for everybody to enjoy, and it's a good movie. You might like it, you might not, but it is worth the time. And remember, in this one, Godzilla's not really a bad guy. He was just pissed off. Like, they had to take his fucking egg, really? They had to take his fucking egg? And to next time, this is Son of the Maniac, and this is episode 20. Episode 20 of William Jackson's Monster Fest. And this has been The Son of the Maniac. Until next time, 
I'll be taking a look at Godzilla vs. Space Godzilla. Peace out.